Starship completes its final pre-flight preparations. The launch may just be weeks away. Falcon puts another couple batches of Starlink satellites into orbit, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. After last Friday's episode, SpaceX released some aerial footage of S-26's single-engine static fire that occurred previously on Wednesday, the company claiming it was done to demonstrate a flight-like startup for a Starship deorbit burn. Although as far as I'm aware, Starship will not require a deorbit burn on this next orbit attempt if it does indeed make orbit, since its trajectory will be shallow, using the atmosphere to break over Kauai. Although I guess SpaceX could have Ship 25 perform a similarly brief flight-like startup during the mission, just to test it out for future orbital flights, but it seems to me they'd be required to update the flight profile to include it. Or of course this test could also just be for future orbital missions, comment your theory below. The notice to Mariners for Starship's next mission has been updated on the Coast Guard's website, indicating a new launch date of November 6th. And rumor going around is the FAA and Fish and Wildlife are picking up the pace, so a November launch date may actually be possible. Although yesterday it was discovered that the FWS reinitiated its Endangered Species Act consultation with the FAA on October 19th, which began the up to 135 days countdown for the agency to amend their biological opinion based on the new deluge system under the pad, although they said they do not expect to take the full amount of time. But things have progressed over the past week on SpaceX's end of things, putting the vehicle through its paces with pre-flight testing. On Sunday, both tanks of Booster 9 were partially cryo-tested. Then on Tuesday, both stages were loaded with more than 10 million pounds of propellant in a flight-like rehearsal, also known as a wet dress rehearsal. SpaceX also posting that she is now ready for the second test flight, pending regulatory approval, of course. Before the WDR, Lab Padre Space captured a test of the Fire X system on the orbital launch mount. Then once loading was complete, they tested it again. With all the tests finished, the rocket was destacked on Thursday for what is expected to be the final time before liftoff. But moving on to Starlink now, two more Falcon 9 missions took place since our last episode, both on Saturday. On the left side of your screen, Falcon launched from Vandenberg at 1.23 in the morning Pacific time, carrying 21 Starlink satellites. On the right side there, Falcon lifted off from Slick 40 Florida at 10.21 p.m. Eastern time, hoisting 23 more version 2 sats to low Earth orbit. It was the 16th and 4th flight for these first stage boosters respectively, both successfully touching down on their autonomous drone ships bobbing on the ocean. And both upper stages later deployed their flocks without issue. Gizmodo reported that a deal has been reached with the European Space Agency for SpaceX to lift four Galileo satellites to orbit by the end of 2025. Two Falcon 9 launches will be required for the operation, and will be the first of its kind for SpaceX as the payloads will be equipped with classified European tech. But now it's time for today's Honorable Mission. Kerbal Space Program 2 has had a rough year since its launch into early access last February. The game, plagued with game-breaking bugs and a lack of features compared to its predecessor, caused its reviews to tank and its concurrent user count to drop to just a few hundred. But the developers announced over the weekend that its first update in a series for major features is dropping in December, titled For Science, which will provide a progression experience, allowing players to complete experiments as they explore the Kerbaler system, and thereby unlocking more tech to build cooler stuff to blow up. And along with the update comes the long-awaited atmospheric heating feature, less wobbly rockets, new parts, and of course, bug fixes. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. My personal thanks for everyone supporting the channel with their coins, and have an phenomenal weekend. Until next time, Godspeed.